In the previous video of cell cycle series, we discussed about the MPs. And now in this video, we'll be discussing about the spindle assembly checkpoint, that's SAC. It's also known as mitotic checkpoint or spindle checkpoint because this checkpoint prevents separation of duplicated chromosomes until each chromosome is properly attached to the spindle. This checkpoint also monitors the alignment of chromosomes on the metaphase plate. If we see under normal conditions, we have spindle attachment to the chromosome at centromere. All is okay, cell proceeds into anaphase. So we jump from metaphase to anaphase and this transition is driven by APC slash C protein. APC stands for anaphase promoting complex or it's simply called as cyclosome protein. That means we are here for this protein APC protein. The regulation of APC protein is one of the important steps here and it's mediated by this checkpoint spindle assembly checkpoint. First of all let's see how it's mediated. The spindle assembly checkpoint prevents the premature activation of APC protein. This SAC spindle assembly checkpoint is driven by a complex set of proteins called MCC, mitotic checkpoint complex. It consists of four important proteins, BUBR1, BUB3, MAD2 and CDC20 protein. And it must be noted here that this complex is only formed when we have unattached Kinetoco. The CDC20 protein is required to activate the APC protein, but the CDC20 protein remains inhibited in MCC form. Here in this diagram, we have the two sister chromatids from metaphase stage. This red one color protein is the kinetochore bound to centromere. And on this kinetochore on the left, we have attached spindle to the kinetochore. And on the right, we have unattached kinetochore as shown in the diagram. And this unattached kinetochore will mediate the SAC spindle assembly checkpoint because all is not okay here since we have unattached kinetochore. And on this unattached kinetochore, we get the attachment of BUBR1 protein, BUB1, BUB3, MAD1, MAD2 and many other proteins. And this complex formed here at unattached kinetochore will drive the activation of cytoplasmic proteins like it will activate the BUBR1, BUB3, MAD2 and CDC20 protein. These four proteins constitutes as the MCC mitotic checkpoint complex. And this complex will recruit the anaphase promoting complex protein and inhibit its activity. Now let's get into more details to find out this event at molecular level. First, we have the unattached kinetochore at centromere. And to it, Blinken protein binds, as shown in the diagram. And this Blinken recruits the BUBR1, BUB3, BUB1, NDC80, MIS12, and many other proteins like CENPE and MAD2 proteins. So many different proteins are getting attached to the unattached kinetochore. Also, the unattached kinetochore will recruit the MPS1 protein, as shown in the diagram. Now it must be noted here, the complex formed at unattached kinetochore is not the actual MCC. So this complex formed at unattached kinetochore will activate the cytosolic proteins of MCC. So actual activation of MCC occurs in cytosol, where we get the activation of BUBR1, BUB3, BAD2 and also the activation of CDC20 protein that is the important protein here. And this complex will then recruit the APC and make it inactive. So anaphase promoting complex protein is getting inhibited here. That means the inactivation of APC will lead to halting of cell at metaphase stage because there are still unattached kinetochores. So this is how this checkpoint is driven, that spindle assembly checkpoint. Once all kinetochores are attached with spindle, we get the activation of APC and transition from meta to anaphase. And how this APC is activated and how transition is driven will be discussed in the next part of the video. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon or YouTube and also make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.